The null slide is a good first sliding trick to learn because it requires less commitment than a board slide and there's less of a chance of sliding out and falling over. Um, and that's because most of your body is off the box the whole time. So you can just land and pivot at any point and there's more friction with it so you know there's more control. So there are two main steps to learning to no slide. The first is to do the slappy version. And a slappy is a grind where you don't ollie and you just sort of ride up onto it. So the slappy no slide starts off with both feet on the tails like this. And basically you ride up, start to pivot, and you jump a little bit, shift your weight to the nose. Then when you land on it, you just sort of keep pivoting and then you slide it out. And um, it's just really hard in the beginning to actually sort of jump over and keep your foot controlled and everything because you want to land with as much of your foot as possible on the nose. If your toe hangs off and touches, you're probably just going to stop. And if your heel touches, it's not that big a deal, but it will slow you down a lot. So I would suggest at first maybe just coming in straight, doing some nose stalls, then go at more and more of an angle until eventually you're about, you know, maybe 10 degrees or so. And then you can just lock right in there and slide it out. And you can go as fast as you want with them and they're pretty safe. To land them, there are two ways. Uh, when I first learned them, I found it a lot easier to just continue my pivot and come out fakie. Um, but you probably want to learn how to land them straight too. And with that, um, the main problem people have is that they spun on the way in. So they're trying to reverse their momentum. And on something this low, uh, the solution to that is to sort of land in a pivot. That way you don't really need to spin your whole shoulders, you just need to land the back two trucks and you can just sort of push this around a little bit. Um, after you get used to that, the next step is to ollie in. And the foot position for that uh, depends on how big the box is. On something like this, it's actually hard to do an ollie in because, you know, you have to ollie and then land on it. You can't ollie this low, really. So, um, the ones I filmed are on my, uh, my bigger box, and I put my foot about like this. You want it far enough back where you can still get a pop out of it, but it has to be close so you can shift your weight, or, you know, slide your foot up right solidly over the nose. Um, again, the same basic idea if you're ha having trouble is to just come at less and less of an angle until you eventually start sliding. Obviously, you need to be good at front side. 180s and um, with something bigger it seems to be a lot more natural to come out regular instead of fakey and if you have trouble the thing is when you ollie you don't really turn your shoulders all the way you just sort of spin the board a little bit keep your your body straight and once you're done you sort of poke it out and you know it all works out fine so check out the ones I filmed and good luck